Hi, my name is Carla Cabrera. I'm the president of GAP Summit 2017. And I'm really excited to have today Dr. Bahija Jalal, who is an executive VP of AstraZeneca and also the head of MedImmune. And she's someone that I look up to. So as you guys may know, Dr. Bahija was involved in GAP Summit 2014, the inaugural GAP Summit in Cambridge, UK. And she was so impressed with it that she decided it would be a great idea to bring into the US. So I wanted to see if you could share with the audience a little bit about what impressed you about GAP Summit and why you thought it was a good initiative to bring. Uh, it was absolutely a great experience in 2014, but what I was really impressed by is the energy, the um, uh, taking initiatives from the next generation, and most importantly, it gave me a great hope. And uh, I feel great about what's going to happen in the future because it's in your hands and in your hands. <laughs> Great, it's a lot, of, uh, a lot of pressure, but I think we're up for it. <laughs> You're up for it. <laughs> so I wanted to talk a little bit about MedImmune. Um, I, I'm, I'm very proud to know that over 50% of the employees are females and that the executive board is, is equally as diverse. Can you talk about some initiatives that we're do, you're doing as a company and other companies can do to make this even better? Yeah, so why it is important, I'll start from there, I think, because if anybody wants to do that, has to go back to why we do what we do, is about science and about innovation. And when you talk about innovation, you need diversity, and diversity of all sorts, right? And I think what I try to do is to instill that in MedImmune and AstraZeneca mm -hmm. as a whole, because the only, this is the only way we can be successful. So because of diversity, diversity of thought is what brings innovation. So we bring uh, people together. We started with women and having the Women's Summit. And that's really just a, a summit to basically exchange ideas, exchange experiences, and encourage the next generation basically to, to um, not take anything for granted and, and, and be an active participatory in what we do. Great. And one last question about MedImmune. Sure. I know that there's been some exciting developments in biologics and some recent uh, exciting approvals by the FDA. And tell, tell the audience what are some exciting things that you are looking forward to in the field of biologics, some new technologies, where do you see things going in 10 years? Yeah, so um, uh, thank you for that. I think we're very, very happy. I think um, biologics was really a big uh, a change in the whole landscape of, uh, of the uh, pharmaceutical industry as a whole. That's why it's called biopharma now. Um, and I think most importantly for patients, it opened up doors for us to um, get into areas of animate medical need and have better tools to do that. Now that we are you know, we see that in, uh, in, um, in oncology, in cancer, in, in uh, respiratory and other things. And we have, we're lucky to have, you know, uh, products that are helping patients today. We need to look into the future, mm -hmm. how not only uh, the biologics, but even beyond, you know, what are the technologies that gonna get us to the, the ultimate goal, which is how to actually cure diseases. Up until now, we are more, you know, uh, uh, treating, treating the diseases, making you know uh, things better, but we really we have now the technologies to put a, a much higher goal for ourselves to actually cure diseases. That's really exciting. Thank you for that. And we actually have the entirety of Dr. Bahija's keynote also on our YouTube channel, so you can access it by clicking the link below.